My name's Earl. This is my nephew Bill. We uh, we wanted to put this little video together for folks thinking about buying a so a leveling a tree stand, stand, climbing tree stand. Right. So uh, Bill and I know, as far as we know, there's only two uh, levelers out there on the market. One's equalizer, and the other is the new higher level. Bill and I have owned equalizer tree stands. Uh, I bought mine a year after uh, they came out. Bill bought his a year after that. So I'm thinking 10, 12 years, whatever it's been. Uh, last year, Bill and I were desperate uh, to get a backup for our equalizers. We used these stands from September all the way through to the end of January. And we use them a lot. Now, equalizer had stopped production um, the two, three years ago, I think it was. Yes. Three years ago, maybe. Something like that. Um, so there wasn't anything out there on the market um, until 2015, I think it was. was it? Last year. Last year. Last year. Uh, so that's when we found out about uh, Buckhorn, who makes the higher level leveling tree stand. Now, according to Buckhorn, according to the website, these stands were equal. No, they were actually better than, better than the equalizer. Equalizers. The new improved equalizer, right. I believe, is what they put on the website. So with that said, Bill and I, again, being desperate for backups for our equalizers because we cannot be, at this point, after using a leveling tree stand all these years, be without one. It's imperative to have those. So we wanted a backup. So we went ahead and purchased, each of us purchased a higher level stand. Um, to say that we were disappointed um, would be an understatement. Yeah, would be an understatement. Uh, last year, again, uh, we got those. I used mine all of last season, as as Wells build it. Um, with that said, we found that there's there's some um, there's, problems. With there's these issues. Things. Issues. All right. So this is my equalizer and. Um, this stand, again, is, is I want to say, at least 10 years old, if not 12 years old, and I use it all season. The only time I haven't used it was last year when I bought the higher level. So anyway, if you look at this stand, you can see the difference. And it, there's just no comparison between this mechanism and the mechanism on these new higher levels. This has hardly any movement to it barely any movement at all to it. The cranks up here stationary. Stationary. This rides up and down. Your crank is here. On the higher levels your crank is here. And this whole unit runs up and down your threaded bar. So you're constant when you're adjusting this stand you have to follow this up and down. Whereas the equalizer, everything's right here. You just reach over, you crank it. Um, this this one here rides up and down. You have to follow it as you're as you're adjusting this stand. And again, it's noisy. There's just no getting around the fact that this stand is noisy. And we all know when you're trying to get up a tree, whether it be in the morning or the afternoon, you want to be as quiet as you can. And this does not simply does not allow that to happen. The other thing too is that when we climb, we duck climb, or whatever they call it, we, our feet go out under here. Um, Bill's, uh, like Bill said, it would, these wear on your boots, number one. You spend a lot of money on rubber boots, and this mechanism will actually wear those boots down, it, if, especially when you use a stand as much as we do. Um, but go ahead. The reason being is, it, you know, the angles on there, Right. You know, it's so not rounded like the equalizer. the equalizer. You look at the equalizer, and the equalizer is rounded. Right? This is all squared off with, with actually edges on it. So anyway, that's I, I, I really think that's minor compared to the fact that this thing is just noisy. Loose. It's not... It just doesn't feel safe. It doesn't feel solid. It doesn't feel like a... a a good I, I just don't feel safe in this stand I um I actually used this stand last year for the whole season um, the stands noisy it's hard to get um, 
set on a tree without this stand popping on you. Um, if you look at the other thing about this stand is if you look at the teeth on this stand, these teeth are square. All these teeth are square. There's no bevel to this at all. This doesn't allow this to bite into the tree. You actually have to put all your weight on the front of this stand to lock it into the tree. And you have to make sure it's locked in. Bill and I have both had this stand slip on us. And other stands will slip. But this has a tendency to slip more than, than, than the others. So well, equalizers is, is beveled. It's the, tapered. Right. It's got a tapered. The equalizer teeth are, are beveled. And you can see that these are tapered down. And they bite into the tree with no problem. In all the years I've been using this stand, I've never felt insecure in this stand. And we, we hunt. <laughs> a lot of people think we're crazy, but we spend a lot of time 30 foot and above in trees. And that's, you know, minimum, minimum height is, is 25 feet. So anyway, the mechanism, and it's the same on either your platform or your seat. The, the mechanism's the same. And it just, again, it, it feels very, very flimsy. And you can see it. You can see how this whole mechanism moves. And that just does not feel safe. Um, so, and it, you know, these cables, no matter what you do, they're going to slap a little bit. But when you've got it attached to this mechanism, and this mechanism's already as loose as it is, you're going to get that much more noise out of it. And, and we certainly have. Um, so, I think this, in conjunction with this, um, just does, it's not, just don't feel comfortable in this stand. I, 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 I actually uh, uh, dealt with the noise last year and uh, used this stand all season. This year, after my second uh, set in September, I hung this stand up. This higher level got hung up, and uh, I have used my equalizer all season this year. I was trying to save my equalizer because up till this point, we didn't think equalizer was going to be made again. All right, so we were talking about the noise in these mechanisms. And you can see, um, this is the high level on my left, and the equalizer on my right. There's no movement in this, this uh, piece here compared to the higher level. Even cranking these, this is the crank on the equalizer. And this equalizer, again, is 10 to 12 years old. Okay? Never replaced a part on it. And I use it. I, I can't emphasize enough how much how much time I spend in this tree stand. So you see, nice and smooth and quiet. If you come over here to the higher level, you can see and hear. And you can see how loose that mechanism is. And, and to say that this is anything near to compare this higher level as being better than the equalizer is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Um, so anyway, that's the, the cranks. I wanted to show you that. Um, I think we got that. And Bill wants to um, Bill wants to, to talk about. He had an issue with this year um, with this threaded bar. All right. Basically, what happened is down on the bottom here when I was climbing down a tree I was probably 10 feet uh, uh, off the ground when I heard just a clanging noise you know it's coming down the tree and not knowing what had happened uh, was that this actual part here slides up into a hole there and it's held in place with a screw through underneath this cover what had happened was the screw had actually blown out the side of this bracket and um, was actually every time I lifted off the tree it slid down and then when I put pressure back on it it slammed back up against the top of the stand here. Now you know I was only 10 feet you know could something have happened yes but I, I was strapped in so it wouldn't have mattered but 
they never required to see this piece. When I called them, I left three messages um, to get a new part because this is basically my archery stand. My equalizer is my shotgun stand because they coincide with the states that we hunt. But you can see it, uh, it blew out right here. And uh, they never wanted this piece back. Um, I asked and they said no. Uh, I would think that safety reasons, uh, insurance reasons for them or something, they'd want to be able to s do some type of testing on here to see why this happened. Um, but they never did. So I saved it just in case. And um, as you can see, it's, it's just a small screw. I, you know, it, it might be a half inch screw length and that's all it's holding that in and it just uh it blew right out the plastic right out the side so um that, that's that's a problem concern that i have safety wise you know something could have happened um but the fact that they just didn't ask me to send this piece back so they could find out why to make sure that it doesn't happen to anybody else is a concern to me um but that being said they did replace the part they replaced the part yes but they never called to inquire what happened or like Bill said for the part back. Okay, so I want to talk about the fact um, with this higher level stand, when you're sitting in the stand and you're adjusting the stand, you have to follow when this when you crank this, this goes this whole mechanism comes comes up or goes down. And that's the same way on the seat as it is the platform. So if you're reaching down, especially to the platform, to adjust it, you have to follow this crank down. So that means you gotta you gotta lean over and move up and down with the crank. Um, it gets precarious at best. Um, it's a little hairy, and it's just it's not comfortable, is what it is. It's just not comfortable. If you look at the equalizer, the equalizer is stationary. This crank does not move. It's right there. So you're not trying to reach down or re, you know adjust. How you're how you're cranking the stand. This stays in one spot, and you simply just move it. You don't have to you don't have to worry about following the thing up and down. It doesn't seem like much, but when you're using it, if you've never used one, um, um, it, it would it, you you would see the difference. Um, so I guess really that's what we want to, and why one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video. Um, People that have never owned an equalizer, an original equalizer, and bought a higher level would not know that there is a much better product on the market to use. So, um, it's just, this stand I don't feel safe in. And that's the bottom line. And, and I just don't feel safe in it. It's not... It's a comfortable stand. I have no problem with the stand itself, but it's the the, the, the mechanism. It's the teeth. It just wasn't well thought, and it's no comparison to the original. Um, Bill and I have never done anything like this before, but we feel pretty strongly about this product, the Equalizer, and and I've been a fan since I bought my equalizer 10 12 years ago I tell people about it all the time and when I bought this new higher level I thought I was buying something comparable and it's not well it's something better something better at least as good yeah, right yeah, as good as good as the original it didn't have to be better than the original but at least as good as the original and it's not it's not yeah, there's too many flaws in that mechanism that cranking mechanism to even say that it's equal or comparative or anything close to the equalizer. It's just right. not. And, it, you know, again, we're regular guys. Uh, we hunt all the time. Uh, neither one of us has any stake in either company. Uh, we don't know anybody from either company. We're doing this because, you know, we had the original, went to something that was supposed to be better, and most people don't know if they don't have the original equalizer most most people buying this higher level would think that this is the greatest thing ever 
and it really isn't. It's um, it's adequate at best, um, but mm -hmm. it is definitely not um, the new equalizer. Mm -mm. It's not. And like I said, I, I my higher level has been in my shed, hanging on hooks all season, and um, and this is before I didn't realize uh, buckshot was back to making equalizers again. Yeah, we just found that oh, yeah. out. Yeah. So um, actually, uh, we were hunting and they got an email that they were manufacturing again so you know my uncle's hasn't used his stand all year he hung it up and uh mine's going to get hung up too because i'm going to get a, a another equalizer because yep. it's just yeah it's you know the thing about it is it's just not it's, it's not, not feeling safe is one thing but the stand is not quiet it's not quiet it's noisy it's a noisy stand you get up in your tree you try and get comfortable you and once you think you think you have it where you need to have it and you go to move pop the thing starts popping on you and you just can't have it and we're archery hunters I mean we do some gun hunting but our main thing is is bow hunting and and if any other bow hunter knows you have everything has to be perfect perfect yeah we like to you know you get you want to get in the woods quiet you want to get up a tree quiet you want to get down quiet and, and um, it's very hard to do that uh, climbing up a tree with this um, higher level um, yeah it just don't it, work it's just, it's just it's tough um, it's just tough to do so um, so we hope that this helps and that's really all um, we're trying to do is help out people out there that are looking to buy one of these stands do yourself a favor if you're going to buy a level and tree stand buy the original equalizer it's it's the way to go. It's a, it's a better stand. It's a safer stand. And I've, I've you know, I, again, I thought that's what we were getting when we bought these higher levels, but it's certainly not. Yeah, and if um, you guys got any questions, um, feel free to uh, throw a comment down below, um, and, and we'll try and answer you, help you out. Um, give us, you know, we'll give you our opinion, and that's all we're doing. We're, we're giving you our opinion on what we feel is um, what everybody should have. Um, so, if you like the video, thank you. If not, good hunting. Good hunting.